flip and stab it! Can we not? No. Hold on. We have a bigger problem here. Who are you two? Where are you? you? Dumbass! Hey, watch your language! Don't tell me what to freaking do! I'll kick your ass! G guys Voices. The, the dummy. Oh. The dummy's gone. That's what I've been trying to tell you. What in the world? A anyway, please follow me into the next room then, okay? The heck? This is your fault! Shh! I think the child is talking. My name is Frisk. Well, I am also Frisk. Really? You don't sound like Frisk. Well, how often do the voices in your head actually sound like you? Oh, honestly, I don't think I can answer that. Look, you're insane, and we're here trying to help you survive. Bottom line, stab everything. If they are dead, they can't kill you. Got it? But I don't think I want to kill everything. I want to be a good person. Ah. This is going to be the worst soul- Gino, shut up. Don't tell me what to freaking do! Anyway... Child, I believe I suggested that you follow me. I certainly wouldn't want to lose track of you. You're that fatty frisk, and I'm sure you know that this isn't a bridge series, so it's gonna have spoilers. So yeah, spoilers. Boop. Now, come on. Yes. Wait, what? Froggit, I would really appreciate if you would. Step away from my child. They belong to me. Well, what you gonna do, huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, that's right. Go on home to your mama. Now then, about this room. The thing about this room is that if you aren't prepared, you might think that this room takes effort. Ah, why do you even have this room? These spikes! If I could have a boner right now, I so would! Hey, watch your language! We're, we're like, what, nine, ten? I'm older than you think. Shouldn't you know that? Uh, anyway... Now before we go any further, I need to impose a small challenge. You see this long hallway? No matter what happens to me or you, you must reach the end of it. Do you understand, young little apple blossom? Oh god, don't leave me with the voices in my head. Listen, twerp, you need us. As stupid as that sounds, he's right. One day, Pacifrisk, one day, stab right in the metaphysical ass. I wonder what will happen if I walk back into the spikes. Go ahead, do it. I'll show you something cool when you die. Let's try not to die just yet. Wait a sec. Where's Toriel? What's that on the ground? You find an old-looking phone. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a Nokia? Who even makes these anymore? Hey, hey kid, the antiques Rocho call. They want their phone back. Enough! We get it. <sighs> I bet it doesn't even have apps. Oh, oh, but it does have text messaging. You read it aloud, I guess. Ooh, what's it say? Truly, I am sorry for deceiving you. There is no danger like my tone suggested. Now then, Chocolate Bar, I'm gonna need you to stay right here while I go prepare the house for you to live in. If you would please stay put until I come back to retrieve you, okay? It's dangerous to go alone. Come on, gone! Quickly, touch everything! Especially the froggit! Never mind that. It's good that we have a phone, but what do we do with it, though? Hey, kids! It's time for Uncle Jimbo's daily advice! <laughs> Here he is!
you unlock Sex Drive. You will now use it on any and everything you come across. Enjoy your new character development, you sick prick. is pretty. I guess I'll do that then. Wait, no, what? Hey, sex is great. We should try it. Don't do that, that's my, I mean, that you're, I mean, that's our mom, right? She's a kidnapper! Go ahead! Do it! Huh, nothing. Here, try this one. Hey, Goat Mama, I heard you got a really sweet ass. Wanna test it? Heart face, Mickey cat face. Darling, while I am very flattered that you think of me that way, but I feel I must warn you, you are still just a child. I would very much appreciate it if you kept that in mind, or else your stay with me won't be nearly as pleasant. Okay, Sugar Plum? <sighs> I can't believe you just did that. Hey, my name is Get the f noggin away from me before that mean scream goat woman comes back! How rude! Oh, come on. We can totally kill that one! He made us use a goddamn sensor for Pete's sake! You enter a room full of sweet, sweet candy. Can you hear the cavities calling? Now, if only there was something useful. You know what to do here, right? Eh? 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 Uh. We eat it! It's not ours. Yet. I think we should. Eat it! Leave it. Frisk knocks over the candy bin, apparently, and then. And then picks the candy up off the ground. Go, go, go. There. Now we can say we found it on the ground. I, uh. I don't think that's a. Uh... Never mind. Uh, uh, please, please don't hurt me. I, I just want to go home. Oh, well, that is the flying equivalent of a limp dick. Well, pal, so do we, and you're on our way. Uh... God. The Wimson takes the easy way out, like a little bitch. Yes! Wait, did we? You gain no EXP. Damn it! Oh, thank God. What's EXP? Listen, here's the deal. You kill things, you get EXP. You kill things faster, got it? In reality, EXP as in execution points are what you get when you hurt others. The more you get, the dumber you become. Case in point, like a Gino here. Screw you! Look, numbnuts! Experience points will make you stronger, faster, fitter, and harder to hurt. Wait a minute. I have a question. If I don't know, how do the voices in my head know? Uh, the flower said it? Yeah, yeah, the flower said it. Wait, I don't remember that part. Y yeah Flurry told us when we got down here. What the hell? This phone? It's got video messaging and all. It's still a bloody antique, mind you. Hello, Crumpet. I have to ask you something. Do you, by chance, like butterscotch? Please text me back. When you can. Wink, wink. Heart face. You immediately text the sexy goat lady that you love to eat her butterscotch. Oh god, please stop. I see. How about cinnamon? Do you have a taste for that? Oh god, no, I'm super allergic. You text her that you're allergic. Well, that's a terrible shame. Butterscotch it is, then! You text that you'd rather have some of her soft, creamy, Okay, I've just thrown up a little in my mouth. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm done. 
<laughs> wish. I wish I can go too. I see. Well then, little strudel, I'm sorry to say that you will eat my pie and you will like it. Is it moist? Of course it's moist. Do you imply that I make crusty pies? Well, challenge accepted. Can we please just go? Ugh, more spikes. I guess I have to push the rocks then. Yeah, put that weight to use. Excuse me, little one. Um, what are you doing? Do you even know who I am? First flowers, then hot goats, then rocks. I'm not surprised. Listen, hun. Who said you could touch anyone as hot as me? Mmm. I don't think you and I are gonna get along. I'm just gonna sit right here and ignore yo little uncultured tush. Now get out of here, you little whatever the heck you call yourself. Mmm. Yeah. You heard it. That's what Dwayne says. That's what Dwayne's cooking. Uh. -huh. You sassy bitch. Dwayne gives you a stony reception. What's that? It's so shiny. Touch it. Why? Because shiny is good. I don't wanna. I recommend that you do it. It will make you determined and Gina will shut up. Fresk reluctantly touches the shiny thing. He, uh, she, uh, they, whatever, are filled to the brim with determination. So much determination. Yeah, determined not to do it again. Oh, I can't wait till we die. I'm pretty determined not to do that either. Well, odds are you might, especially since you're determined not to kill anything. Well, not all of us are as stupid as you, so I think we're good. You examine the smelly, moldy cheese stuck to the table. Your stomach growls. You think about eating it. You disgusting bastard. Go ahead! Oh man, when was the last time Uncle Jimbo fed me? Well, I think it's only been about 20-30 minutes since we fell down here. So, 30 minutes, plus who knows how long I've been in Uncle Jimbo's van, plus a day in the closet. I should really eat something. Wait, are we not going to talk about the van? Frisk devours the cheese. It's actually quite tasty. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was episode two. Oh, and hi, I'm Wade the Badger, the chief executive producer of Spoopy Tunes. Yeah, forget Spirit from earlier. He had all those titles, but I'm the one with real power. Anyway, uh, also an apology. It took a little longer to get this one out than it should have. We got a little behind schedule. So this one, we increased a bit in size. Uh, I'd also like to give you the whole... Subscribe, like, comment in the doobly-doo below. So yeah, if you like goats too, go ahead and click Frisk's I Like Goat tag and subscribe to Swoopy Tombs for more content. After all, we have many different projects in the Pipeworks. Trust us, this is going to be quite the adventure. Thanks, and until next time, I'm Wade the Badger, and this has been Undertale Abridged. Oh, yeah, yeah, and before I forget, Frisk is a girl. Get used to it.